Hello everyone, I'm Cynthia Fox and I'll be joined in this movement break with my colleague, Angela Halpern. As we know, nearly 90% of people with Parkinson's disease have changes in their voice and speech that can make communication more difficult and challenging. But what can be frustrating is the person with Parkinson's disease doesn't feel like their voice has changed, but yet those around them often say, what did you say? I can't hear you. What we're going to do today is just a sample of the LSBT loud exercises to get you revved up and make that voice come alive. The first exercise that we will do are the long ahs. These really help improve your breath and voice support together and establish a good quality loudness that we then train into speech. So Angela is going to lead you through this exercise. Hi, my name is Angela, and I'm going to take you through some of these exercises. Let's get ready to practice. The first exercise we're going to do are the long ahs. I'm going to be counting it down for 15 seconds, but I only want you to hold it as long as you can with loudness and quality. So if you have to stop and take a little breath, that's totally fine. All right, here we go. Let's get ready to practice. I'm gonna have you do what I do. Ah, uh, now you're going to do that and hold it out. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, uh, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it loud. You can do it. Almost there. And stop. Awesome, so you should feel that effort as you do that ah. Here we go, number two. One, two, three. Ah, keep going. Feel the effort. Keep it loud, keep it loud, keep it loud. You're almost there. All right, fantastic. Okay, you should be feeling revved up. As you do this next ah, I want you to think about the effort. That's the effort you want to use all the time when you talk. Here we go for number three. One, two, three. Ah, good loudness. Keep it going. Keep it there. Good loudness, feel the effort. Almost there. And stop. Awesome. Okay, let's stop and get a little sip of water so that you're keeping good hydration. Okay, here we go for the next one. One, two, three. Ah, uh, keep it loud. Good loudness. Keep going. Come on, you can do it. Dig deep, dig deep, almost there, and stop. Fantastic, okay, this last one, really be feeling that effort. That's the effort we want you to use all the time when you talk. Here we go, you got it, with gusto. One, two, three. Ah, uh, keep going. Keep it there, almost there. Good loudness, feel the effort, and stop. Woo, good work. The next exercise that we will do are the high ahs and the low ahs. These work to help improve your intonation by taking that good ah voice you just practiced and going up high in pitch and low in pitch. So once again, Angela will take you through this exercise. I'll do one first so you can see what we're going to do. It's gonna sound like this. Uh, I'm only gonna have you hold these for about five seconds. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Uh, Awesome, so you should have felt just as loud here as you did when you start. 
If you didn't, let's bump up that loudness. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, good. If this is a little too high, you can try this next one. Do what I do. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah. So do what works for you to get that good stretch. Maybe you can go even higher on this one. Let's try. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah. Great. Now that you've done those high ahs, we're going to go low. What goes up must come down. So we're going to start with that same good ah voice and go low. Start loud to be loud. I'll do one first for you. It's gonna sound like this. Uh, so you're gonna use that same good ah uh, voice. Stretch as low as you can, keeping it loud. Here we go. One, two, three. Uh, Here we go for the next one. Ah, keep going, keep it loud, keep it loud. You got it. Fantastic. All right, here we go for the next one. Start loud to be loud. One, two, three. Ah, keep it there. You got it. I want to hear that loudness. Fantastic. All right, we have a couple more. You're doing great. You should feel like your voice is really warmed up. One, two, three. Ah, uh, keep it there, keep it loud. That's it, great. On this last one, feel that effort you're using. That's the effort and loudness you want to use when you talk. Here we go, one, two, three. Ah, uh, keep it there. Yep, that's it. Nice and loud. You got it. Fantastic. The third exercise that we'll do are the functional phrases. If you were in treatment, your therapist would have you come up with phrases that are very specific and individual to you. But for this exercise, we'll provide some phrases to you. So I'll turn it back over to Angela again. Now you're going to take that wonderful ah voice you just practiced and we're gonna put it into speech. So feel that same effort and loudness. You will see some phrases appear on the screen. As each phrase appears, I want you to read it with that same effort and loudness. This is the voice that will help you to be heard and understood. So it's gonna sound like this. Good morning. How are you? Here we go. That's great, I love the voice. Think loud. Good. Awesome. I loved the voice that I heard when you did that. If you haven't had LSVT loud before, we would encourage you to seek out a therapist and get treatment. You have important things to say. You need to be heard and understood. We hope you've enjoyed this movement break and your voice feels warmed up and alive. We encourage you to greet someone today, either in person or perhaps on the phone, and say hello with this good loudness and see how they respond, even if it feels just a little too loud to you. If you'd like to learn more about speech and voice changes with Parkinson's, more about LSVT Lab treatment, or to find an LSVT Lab certified clinician near you, please feel free to visit our website.